Hey YouTube, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a video, been kind of busy with things and I ran out of internet, wasted it on some movies, limited out here in these woods, but anyways, so it resets on the 12th, so I got some internet I can use now, so I'm going to do a video here, some, uh, some finished customs, and I think I got a couple, yeah, a couple just wheel swaps, I don't do that very often, but you gotta do it every now and then. And what else? Maybe a work in progress or something. We'll see. See what I got out here. Alright, so let's flip this thing around and show you what I've been working on. Alright, let's start out with a couple of wheel swaps. This is the Mercedes. I forget, I think 380 SL or something. I don't know. But anyway, I just put the bling wheels on it didn't change the color or anything. If I find another one of these, I'll do a paint job on it. <laughs> I just thought these wheels look pretty good. Plus, they're my favorite wheels. I won't lie. I love the bling wheels. All, all the sizes that they come in. But I thought they looked pretty good on this car. And it rolls, yeah. It's a cool car. What do we got? Oh yeah, this was a uh, I think this was in a box that William sent me. He didn't have no wheels on it, so he took the wheels off. But it's the uh, you know the Woody panel, the police one. I just put those uh, hub-looking wheels from um, from the Matchbox cars. It looked pretty good on it. So I'm just gonna leave this one. I haven't messed with too many of these. I've got one I'm working on as a rat rod, but it's not. It's going slow. But yeah, I thought those looked pretty good on there. Made it look old. So yeah, just changed the wheels out on that. And we've got this uh, Aston Martin. The 177. Put these wheels off of the... The... What is it? The van? Yeah. Yeah, y'all know. Yeah, the van that came out. But anyways... Changed the wheels on it, added some little bit of detail with my my brass sharpie, doorknobs, gas cap, or door handles. <laughs> it's not doorknobs on a car. What am I thinking? And the grill a little bit. Yeah. A little bit on the interior. If you can see that back there. In the back, yeah. Anyway, it looks pretty cool, I think, those colors together. Alright, now to the real stuff. What am I going to start with? Start with this purple passion. I know James likes the purple passion, so. Here's a purple, purple passion. With the top chopped off. A little bit of detail on the interior. It doesn't look purple on the camera, but it is purple. But yeah, that one came out pretty cool. Chopped the top. Did a little detail on the inside. Not real happy with the wheels I put on there. But I didn't know. Didn't have I don't have a whole lot of wheels to choose from right now, so those will do for now. I might they might get changed later on down the road, but I'm just gonna leave those on there for now. Another purple passion. This is like my it's my gangster smooth criminal purple passion. <laughs> It's all crazy. A little wild with the decals. Or as some of y'all, some of y'all say decals. That just sounds weird coming off my tongue. I'm from the south. It's decals. <clears throat> but yeah, just painted it white and put the red wheels on there. And the decals. Came out pretty cool. I like it. Let it spin around so you can see all the decals I put on there. Yeah. And this Cadillac, um, say, what is this? CTS wagon. It's from a Matchbox. If I had money, that's what I would drive in real life. I love wagons. And the CTS. Uh, Cadillac wagon, that's just pretty cool, but it's kind of 
Add a little bit of detail to it in the smooth criminal decals. Cadillac on the side. Big Cadillac wreath on the hood. I thought it looked pretty cool. Kind of colored the bling wheels a little bit with a gold um, Sharpie. Looks alright. Added some detail to the front. I'm not the best at adding the details like some of you guys. But some of you guys make these things look nice. I'm working on these details. So we'll get it down someday. I'm good at the chopping. <laughs> okay, here's a little uh, rusted up cool combi. Put the little plastic white walls on there. The decals. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Chopped it up. I guess you noticed that. Chopped the wing off of it and the what do you call it? the wheelie bars. Kind of a little bit of detail to the engine. Filled that in with epoxy filler type stuff. Put the I had to do a little bit of grinding on the wheels or on the the base to get the uh same size wheels on there, but yeah, it rolls. Looks pretty cool. Then I did a got a couple of these in um box from from William. Oh crap, that's coming apart. But the A dump, this one they had two, so I took one to make to kind of restore one. It's still be in a box waiting. But this one since I didn't have all the pieces, I decided to make a rat rod out of it. That big grill is the bottom of a car. I can't remember which one I chopped it off of. And then the engine from another car. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, though. The profile is pretty awesome. I added the decal. That one on the back's coming off, though. Oh, well. Yeah, got the smooth criminal in the back. Pretty cool. I'm digging these. This, these kind of, of cars. There, I got a few in box for million that I'm gonna kind of restore. Kind of collect some more of the ones that have this kind of body style. Okay, that's pretty much all that I've. Oh no, man! I almost forgot another addition too. If you've seen my other videos. I'm going to do a blacked out version of every Lamborghini with some colored wheels. This one is the, uh, I don't know them all. I have no idea. But anyway, the Aventador, I think. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I have to, I'm going to do a flat black of every model of the Cadillac that Hot Wheels puts out. But I'm going to do colored wheels on them is the only difference there will be. And maybe a little bit on the interior. But these, if you can see them... They're pink. I did that with uh, Sharpies. And it works. It comes up pretty cool. I got a four pack of these type of Sharpies at the store. And um, the end of it looks kind of like that. But um, when you color over the chrome on these things, you see how they still have a shine to it. And it stays on there. I don't clear coat or anything. I just color the the wheel so that's a tip for you customizers out there I don't, can't afford real riders which would look great on some of these but just to make them a little different I can't afford some sharpies and make them different colors because I got a lot of plastic wheels but, all right they're still a work in progress like the the original videos I used to make this isn't something I'm working on with the cool combi no wheels yet it's going to be a tow truck. I'm going to drill a hole in the back and then put this from the tow jam or whatever it's called. We'll go back here. But yeah, I cut it out and put this. This is from uh, the Larry's tow truck. I had a couple, and I think there ended up a couple in the box that William sent me a while back. and So I'm just scavenging parts. But yeah. Smooth the top down a little bit. 
I'm gonna call it my uh, told my girlfriend I'm gonna call it my cute little tow truck. So I might make some decals for that. I don't know. But anyway, I think that's um it for now. Let me um Oh, I know. Let me show y'all my wall. Alright, let me give y'all this is don't make fun of my wall. I'm I don't I'm on disability so I don't have a lot, but it's starting. Those are the ones that um PJ started me out with, and then those uh, three I found at Kmart a while back. Then my girlfriend started me on these Batmans, and I found a couple. So they're on my wall, and then the Star Wars. I think I got ended up with all those. She got me some for Christmas, and I found some. So let's get a full view of it, right where it's at right now. I'm envious of you guys that have walls covered, but... Hey, I'm just not starting. That's a pretty good start. So, still looking for the other Looney Tunes and Muppets and Atari and Batman. If anybody out there has any, they want to trade some for some customs, I can do that. Just hit me up and let me know. That's what I'm starting with. I'm going to start with some different series with the cool card art. Anyways, that's where the wall's at right now. So, this is Smooth Criminal signing out. Be good or be good at it.